At night, the two of them started a campfire in the forest to rest for a while. Noah was focused on trying to repair the damaged electric baton. Meanwhile, a human girl was hiding quietly behind a tree, watching their every move. Morris noticed this and gently tossed a few apples in her direction. The girl hesitated but slowly emerged, her eyes full of apprehension, sensing her unease. Morris introduced himself and Noah, reassuring her that they meant no harm to humans. Only then did the girl gradually let down her guard and pick up the apples from the ground. Seeing her shivering with cold, Morris took a piece of cloth from Noah and gently handed it to her. Bathed in the light of the campfire, they spend a quiet night together, and a sense of trust began to grow in the girl's heart. The next morning, she Saturday quietly behind Morris and continued on with them. When they reached the lakeside, they were stunned by what they saw a group of humans, who had lost their ability to speak, emerge silently from the forest and walked into the lake to fetch water. At that moment, a blaring horn shattered the forest's tranquility, as sure was army search for it like a tidal wave, quickly surrounding the people by the lake. With a command from Shara, his troops went berserk, launching a brutal massacre against the humans. Amidst the chaos and terror, the girl cleverly evaded the enemy's pursuit and fled into the nearby underbrush. However, as the enemy's search drew closer, she realized there was nowhere left to hide. In a life or death moment, she decided to take a risk and called out loudly to Noah at the edge of the bushes. Hearing her cry, Noah rushed over and managed to help the girl escape from the enemy's encirclement. After reuniting with Morris, the girl recounted her ordeal. Her name was Zoe, and she had been relentlessly pursued by Sherwa because she held the secret to opening the doors of the human sanctuary. At the brink of extinction, humans had hidden advanced technology and valuable data in a refuge. If the surviving humans found this sanctuary, it would pose a significant threat to Sherwa. The group set off on the run again, but Sherwa's forces were more formidable than they had imagined. They were soon captured, and Morris heroically sacrificed himself in the battle. Noah and Zoe were taken captive and brought to Susa's stronghold. In Susa's base, Noah witnessed the tragic sight of his people being enslaved, while Zoe unexpectedly received preferential treatment. In a room overflowing with books, so we met an elderly human named Trivison, who had betrayed humanity by teaching Susa human knowledge and history in exchange for a comfortable life. As the afternoon sunlight streamed in, Susa ascended a high platform and delivered a fiery speech to the apes below. At his command, the apes worked together to try to pull the chains on the sanctuary doors, attempting to force them open. However, their efforts ended in failure once again. Soon after, Sasa approached Noah and engaged him in a lengthy persuasive discourse, trying to convince Noah to side with the apes and help him extract the secret of opening the sanctuary doors from Zoe. Sasa argued that if humans gained access to the advanced technology inside, the apes would face an unprecedented crisis. However, Noah, deeply influenced by the stories from the era of Caesar, believed firmly in the potential for harmonious coexistence between humans and apes. He steadfastly rejected Susa's temptation, holding true to his beliefs.